Hi, YouTube. This is Naturally For Us. How are you doing? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm coming on to uh, show my hair. And another thing is I have a new book. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I guess, you know, I was listening to a, another young lady. And she was talking about it too. Um, <clears throat> I guess when you uh, start, um, when you've been on YouTube, and it's almost been almost four years <laughs> now. Now, and I just thank the Lord for all my subscribers and all my friends and all of my contacts because it was subscribers, right? Yeah, no, it's still subscribers, but used to be friends, but it's contacts now, okay, but, um, and all my contacts, and I just thank the Lord for you, and I'm believing all is well to all of my uh, subscribers and friends, and I'm believing that, you know, you guys are having a peaceful and sweet life, okay, because that's what I'm having, <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, you have to stay prayed up, and you have to, and for believers, because I know everyone is not a believer, because I had this one young man to, uh, tell me that uh, uh, everyone doesn't believe like you, but I just feel so sad for uh, for people, I know, and I know they're saying, you know, like, don't feel sad for me. But I'm telling you, I don't know what I would do without the Lord. Really. I wouldn't want to be here. You know, without Jesus and without knowing that there is a there is a heaven and there is a hell and that I'm not going to hell. <laughs> okay. Because uh, I was just listening to uh, one of the videos I was just listening to. And I'll get back to my head. But I was listening to this video, and uh, he was saying that if uh, there wasn't a hell, that meant that, uh, you know, Hitler would, uh, killing all of those people, would, uh, you know, it wouldn't be a place for, you know, a person like that. So you're just saying that everyone is going to heaven. Just think about that. If you had a world, <laughs> okay, and if you had a place, even in the United States, they have a place for bad people, and they put them in prison. They put like this sum of bad people. They put them in prison. So just think, the God of the universe is not going to judge, be the judge of people that that are not. Uh, that are killing, stealing, and destroying. Come on now. So anyway, just think logical. But there is a place and that you can receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And Jesus came so that we will have a choice to choose Him and not go to Him. So all you have to say is, Jesus, come into my heart. Save me. Because I'm a sinner. If you lie, steal, cheat, and who, are, and who hasn't lied, and who hasn't stole, and who hasn't cheated, okay? So if you lie, steal, and cheat, yes, you need a Savior. And He came, Jesus came, so that you may have life, and that you may have it more abundantly. So say, Jesus, come into my heart, save me, and forgive me for all of my sins, because I need you, and fill me with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay? So, I, I wasn't even thinking about that, but that came right on in, in time. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to show my hair, and I hear this grumbling, I, said, I hope you can hear me, because I don't know all of this. My computer is blessed, and I believe I'm going to get a new one.
Okay. And I haven't, um, I haven't, uh, interlocked my hair and it's going to be two months now. And I'm proud of myself. I didn't put my hands in it because, um, uh, they said the less manipulation of locks, the better. So the less you do, the better your locks will be. So I want, I want to do what's best for my hair. <laughs> okay, I'm going to trim this side. Okay, I'm, I am so loving my locks. Tell you, I since I've been on YouTube, uh, it's um, you know a lot of people that used to have locks. They're not. They don't have locks anymore. But uh, I'm just want to nurture minds because I, this is the only style that I want. And I'm I'm not saying I might not cut it. You know, if it gets too long. But as far as the, uh, my locks. I want to keep them forever. <laughs> because I'm telling you, it's so much freedom. So, there's freedom in having locks. So, I'm telling you, it's just amazing. That's all I can say. But, um, what I did was I rolled them up. And um, I want to see my length because I'll be uh, interlocking on Monday. I, you know, decided that'll be my interlocking day on Monday because I normally wash and condition my hair on uh, Mondays every Monday that's my date with my hair <laughs> to give it water so this is it and I'm telling you my lip Like I said, I'm loving it. And if you go back, uh, I put my, uh, when I first started my locks, uh, I put that on. And I just enjoy seeing, you know, the baby locks all the way up. And I was just thinking, I never wore a hat. You know, maybe I put one on when it's real cold or something. But, but I'm talking about as far as covering it up, never wore a hat, never wore a wig. The baby stage, I went through it with, uh, with everyone, the world seeing it. <laughs> because guess what? I was just happy that I had decided to go natural. And, um, and I'm still uh, emotional when I get in the shower and just be able to let the water run down. And just imagine I don't have to worry about water. <laughs> When I take my bath, I don't have to worry about water. And can you imagine it's getting ready to be summer and summer someplace, but it's going to get hot and I don't have to worry about sweating. I'm just free. So isn't that awesome? I've been free for almost four months now. So I will be, uh, but I had my natural hair out for one year and then I went uh, into my locks. For, you know, it'll almost be three years in June. June will be three years left. Yay! <laughs> Yay for me! Okay, so, anyway. But I'm so happy uh, to, like I said, just to have my natural hair. And, and um, you know, I was telling my daughter-in-law, you know, I wish I would have did it earlier. But she said, Mom, you should, you know, at least you did it. You know, and I said, yes, that's true. So, don't wish for something, you know, you've already done it. Yay. But that would have been off the chain, though. I would have been younger. Whoa, hey. <laughs> My locks. Oh, 
Okay, but I was the bomb anyway. <laughs> I was drunk. <laughs> Without him. Okay, okay. So anyway, I'm gonna go into that. That's funny. Okay, <clears throat> but anyway, here is um, this is this book I read, and I'm telling you, um, I joined a, you know um, this church, and they have a book club, and I love to read. And I've read three, two books so far from being in the book club. But this is what I never read a love story. Isn't that something? I read a lot of Christian books, but I never read a love story. So this one is called A Love Story, A Christian Love Story. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me get that right. Because I don't, I don't read any love stories. No, no thank you. I don't need all that graphics. <laughs> okay. But anyway, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> but anyway, this one is called Crossing Jordan's River. Okay. Crossing Jordan's River. Okay. And the author is Kendra Norman uh, Bella. Bella. I'll write it in the description box if I pronounced her name wrong. And this is her. Okay. And I wanted you to uh, you know, take a look at it so you can get this book. Tell me, it is fabulous. So, the ladies at my church, we're going to all get together and talk about the book and I want you to read it you know whoever wants to and uh, and then we can talk about it how about that <laughs> okay so I won't give you any um, um, you know what happens and everything in here because then I would tell you you know and then you would want to read it <laughs> okay but it's a very good Book, and it's a Christian book. So pick this book and enjoy it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you too. I was just I said I'm gonna keep my videos coming. Oh yeah, and I was I was talking about too that uh, you know a lot of people there they're saying they're having problems uh, uh, you know thinking of things to do on YouTube. So, and I'm not having a problem with thinking of things, but I just have to get on because I'm spending a lot of time, like I said, on Facebook. <laughs> because the people are right there. You know, you can be on there, then people start talking to you. And so, so I guess, you know, that's awesome too. So anyway, hi YouTube, bye YouTube. Have a blessed day, YouTube family. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace today. May everyone have a peace in their family. And plead the blood over your children and your children, children, and your grandbabies. Okay, in Jesus' name. I thank you. Amen. Bye, YouTube.